In this video, we'll be looking at how we can show the notification messages, uh, success message or informative or error message. So we'll see what are the options available in Power Apps. So we'll be making use of notify function and there is an on success property for the form control. So we'll look at that as well and we'll see how we can show the success screen or how we can create the success screen. Now let's just switch back to the Power App Studio. I'll just open the existing app, which we are uh, updating it or building it throughout the series of these videos. So if you want to see how we come to the screens, the form, gallery and all of that, how we have created um, the app till now, you can refer to the previous videos. In last video, we had seen how we can add a record what are the functions available, how we can update the record, uh, which is using form control. Now here you have dashboard screen with the gallery control and another screen is form screen where you can, you just have the form control. Now let's just see, uh, directly jump into the success message part. So whenever you add a new record, let's say if I go here and if you add a new record, right now there's nothing, let me just add test three just choose apartment let's see i'll just click on let me see what is the code written already on this submit form that's all that's all i'll just click on submit so you can see here that's how it appears no success message we are not navigating to any other screen so what happens is when we open this screen from this button or this icon it opened the form in new mode and when we call this function which is submit form function the mode of the form got changed that's why there's nothing it was blank when it is submitted now what we need to do is we have to show a message to user saying whatever like whether it is an error whether it is a success message you want to show you can show it now what you can do is after the submit form function either there are two different places you can write the functions so if you go here submit just add a semicolon uh, semicolon and type notify so notify is a function to show a message so a notification bar will appear on the top the first parameter is what you want to show the message want you you want to show so you can say let's say record has been submitted successfully okay and you can specify what kind of notification it is depending on that the color of the notification bar will get changed if it is success it would be light green it will, if it is red it would be light red and for information it's like uh, default color so if i make it success and that's it so notify function with the message and the notification type so let's just go back to dashboard screen run it click on new let's add test 7 choose tower choose this rent 47 monthly in progress and i'll just hit submit button now you can see this notification bar appeared here record has been submitted successfully so that's how you can show the notification using notify function now you might wonder okay what about the screen it is still the same so to make it complete what you can do is whenever uh, whatever you are doing whatever business logic you have written on the form or on the button once it is done, you might want to either navigate back user to the dashboard screen or you can create a success screen. So there are two different ways. So if you just navigate it back, so I add navigate function here, back to dashboard screen, type how do you want to navigate. So there are some transition options here. So let's just go back to dashboard screen, click on plus, add test 8 project apartment 56 and submit 
so you can see the message is already there notification bar and you are already navigated to a dashboard screen now what other things how you can do it differently is you can now you can create a success screen let me just add a, another screen here if you go to new screen option there is a template available which is success screen you can see it here if i just go ahead and add it this is how it looks like usually what i do is i just copy my header and uh, the rectangle the label i just copy it and put it here so that it looks same the same ui throughout there is a consistent cons consistency in all the screens so i copy it always so this looks much better and you can adjust the font size depending on your app now what you have done let me just rename it to success screen so what you need to do is go back here to your submit icon instead of navigating to dashboard screen you can navigate user to success screen so that will give a different feeling different experience and from here you can navigate them to dashboard screen so that they can anyways go back to the dashboard screen so now let's just try it again with the plus icon test 9 choose project apartment rent and i'll hit the submit icon so record notification is also there on the bar top and you, we have navigated user to a success screen as well now both the things are not needed here you can get rid of you can remove the the notification message which is appearing on the top you can remove that function notify function and just just use the success screen uh, navigation part so okay this this will confirm that okay record has been completed those the operation has been completed whether it could be add or update or delete anything and once you click on it user will get back to the dashboard screen now how are we sure that uh, the record has been really submitted or not or was there an error while doing it because the way we have written it is after the submit form function it might happen that there is in some error uh, which which is occurred and the record has not been submitted but we are still navigating user to the success screen so user might wonder okay the record has been added but the error is the error is not shown anywhere for now let's just remove this notify notify function i'll put it down here in the comment and we will remove this navigate function from here we will add it in a different place if you go to form control and go to the properties of the form control there are two different properties available on success on and on failure so if you go to on success you can write the logic to navigate to a success screen in here on this particular property which is on success so whenever the record is actually successfully submitted to your data source then only this logic will get executed for some reason if there is an error the record is not submitted this particular property will not be executed so user will never be navigated to success screen user will stay on the same screen and if there is a way the error will be shown here on the form itself so this is the on success property of the form and you can write like here either you create a uh, error screen you can the way we have created success screen you can create error screen or you can just write a message here saying something went wrong please make sure to add all the fields and try again this is an error message Okay, so this is we have written this on on failure property and on success we are navigating to the success screen now let's just go ahead again run it let's just add test 11 
project apartment rent t7 hit it so you can see this is already successful that's why we have come to a success screen here now this navigation uh, to success screen was called or executed from this particular property which is on success navigate function so we have seen uh, two different properties one notify function sorry we have seen notify function how you can sh show the notification message on the top that too with different colors whether it is success error or information informative message we have seen on success property this property is available on the form control and we have seen how you can add a success screen and how you can navigate to a success screen what is where is the best location to write the logic uh, to navigate to a success screen so i hope this was clear uh, to this this these two functions or these two different ways you can use uh, notify function and on success properties to show the notification message or or you can navigate user build your own success screen you can add all fancy stuff over here build your own error screen and navigate the user to add maybe some of the contacts whoever is have built the app add their email address here so that user can reach out to them saying okay hey there is an error in this app please have a look so you can build your own screen and use these functions and properties to show the success message and error message i hope this was helpful uh, please subscribe to the channel to get updated uh, list of updated videos newly updated videos i'll be uploading new videos soon and probably next week thank you so much for watching